हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर मिस्टर विवेक मंजी घुटीकर फ्रॉम सी कॉलेज कॉमर्स डिपार्टमेंट एंड टुडे आई एम हेयर टू डिस्कस विथ यू ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट एंड आवर टुडे डिस्कशन टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द इंट्रोडक्शन और द मीनिंग ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग पीपल एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टूगेदर so that the objectives or goals of the both are met so basically bringing to to get bringing people and organization together which means human resource management process starts from recruitment selection placement motivation transfer terminations and organizational objective can be higher profitability or uh, higher revenue now it's a art of procuring developing and maintaining competent workforce to achieve the goals of the organization now moving forward definition of human resource management the procurement selection development utilization compensation and motivation of the human resources by the organization now most of the people get confused in between the recruitment and selection so recruitment is nothing but stimulating or searching a competent talent in the market and stimulate them to apply for the job and selection means those who have already applied for the job selecting the best suitable competent educated skill oriented and motivated candidate from those who have applied is nothing but the selection and under development it's come training motivation compensation utilization and motivation now moving forwards the features of human resource management first future is process now why human resource management is the process because this process starts from acquisition of human resources development of human resources motivation of human resource and maintenance of human resources as i have already mentioned that the human resource management process starts from the recruitment next process is selection then placement then transfer motivation training and development coaching counseling mentoring all are are the combined together in the human resource management that's why the human resource management is the process next is continuous in nature now human resource management is continuous process is continuous process because as long as the business run we need the manpower and wherever the manpower is come we have to manage the manpower that's why the human resource management is a continuous process or continuous in nature next is focused on objective now let's uh, divide the objectives first of all the uh, objectives of the organization can be growth profitability innovation or individual objectives can be higher salary job satisfaction job recruitment recognition now organizational or departmental objective can be team work societal objective can be the social development protecting the disadvantages section of the society so objectives of the organization or entire objectives are divided in four parts first is organizational objective that includes growth higher profitability innovation higher revenue expansion and diversification next individual objectives are the higher salary job satisfaction job security and recognition group or departmental objectives can can be the societal objectives or teamwork and next last one is social objectives come under protection of the disadvantage of the society next feature is universal applicable now human resource management most people get confused that human resource management is only applicable to corporate field or only applicable to the organization but this is not the case human resource management is universal applicable it is applicable not only to organization corporate or big firms it is applicable to all all over the fields where we have to manage the manpower or employee it is applicable to school colleges hospitals political religious organization or even in the government department next feature of human resource management is integrated use of subsystem integrated use of subsystem means hrm makes the use of such systems such as organizational development training performance appraisal career development it's also come under the like recruitment selection placement motivation transfer mentoring counseling all are the subsystem has been merged or integrated combined in the human resource 
management next objective is multidisciplinary human resource management is the multidisciplinary activity why it is a multidisciplinary activity because all the uh, all the rules values or uh, what we can say the theories that has been developed in human resource management that derive from the different branches like sociology sociology philosophy communication education and organizational behavioral now moving towards the next topic is functions of human resource management the first and most important function of human resource management is human resource planning human resource planning is nothing but deciding in advance the required manpower in future so that the adequate and competent knowledge, uh, candidate can be perfectly suit at that position next function of human resource management is acquisition or procurement acquisition or procurement is nothing but the recruitment and selection next function is placement those candidate who has been applied for the job we select the best suitable candidate from those who have applied and after selection as per that candidates requirement or as per the jobs requirement his skill competencies knowledge experience we place them to the particular department or particular role or we can say the job next is performance appraisal performance appraisal can be done with the help of jd and js jd is nothing but the job description it is it's a written statement that uh, indicates all the details of the job role and responsibilities salary reporting managers uh, working hours etc and js is nothing but all to performing a task that has been indicated in the jd those specific uh, qualities knowledge and experience required is nothing but mentioned in the statement of js next important function of human resource management is training and development now next function is compensation compensation can be monetary or non monetary non monetary compensation includes the salary bonus incentives commission etc and non monetary compensation includes the incentives uh, non monetary incentives uh, motivation transfer promotion etc next function of human resource management is career planning and development and last one is employee welfare now today we are going to discuss one of the most important elements of human resource management is job design job design matches the requirement of the job with human qualities required to do the job so basically job design is nothing but the sketch or structure of the job that has been designed accordingly the quality specification experience talent required to perform that job next is techniques of job design so job design techniques are broadly classified into four parts the first is job simplification second is job rotation third one is job enrichment and last one is job enlargement first technique of job design is job simplification job simplification nothing but dividing or subdividing the job into smaller part and assigning that each individual smaller part to each individual employee so rather solving a big problem by one employee we can divide that problem and assign the part of that problem to one employee it helps the organization that that uh, doing a repetitive a smaller part of the work employees get efficient and competent in that work second technique of job design is job rotation job rotation is nothing but the movement of employee from one department to another department without changing his role or jd which means the employee is rotated within the department or within the organization but his role and responsibilities has been changed next is job enlargement job enlargement is nothing but the we can say the horizontal expansion of the job uh, let's understand this with uh, an example for example mr a is mr a is working as admin manager and is handling the uh, general administration policy then if he is only handling the general administration policy of mumbai then in under the job enlargement what we can do we assign him the region like mumbai delhi noida kolkata it's called the job uh, enlargement means horizontal expansion and last one is job enrichment is nothing but the vertical expansion of the job or we increase the depth of the job Thank you so much.